Alright, we're looking at it solving a quadratic uh, using generic rectangle. We've looked at it solved by zero product property, uh, quadratic formula. So here's another technique. Now this one will not factor, so uh, zero product property wouldn't work. So we'd have to go quadratic formula or completing the square is what we're going to do now. So we got our generic rectangle set up. We need it to be a square. So I need x and x. That'll give me my x squared. And I need to break up that negative 6x. So I need negative 3 and negative 3 because then that will give me negative 3x, negative 3x, and I have a square. Uh, the, only, the only part I need to take a look at is uh, what's, what's that other box need to be. Well, obviously, you take a look, and i got to do negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. Well, I have a 7 there currently, so I need to add 2 to both sides. And it's pretty quick. You know, the obvious square is x minus 3 squared is our perfect square. And then we've been working on these techniques. Uh, I can undo the square by square rooting. Do not forget you get plus or minus, positive or negative, square root of 2. Slide the 3 over. And then using your calculator, 3 plus the square root of 2, 3 minus the square root of 2 if you want the approximate answer. If they want the exact answer, you can leave it as 